sitting on the panel screen and set forward for me. I'll remind the candidates that um, now you're down to one minute. This is the forum version of speed dating. Uh, so please pay attention to Sandra down here with the uh, signs, and we'll go from there. First audience question, Mike McCullough. What is your opinion in regard to the recent school board resolution which restricted the electronic sign on school property to school events only? This one won't take me a full minute. Um, I don't like it. Um, I think the sign was originally uh, billed as a community sign, um, and there it should remain a community sign. Um, I think that's all I have to say about it. Gary Slater. Um, I don't agree. I feel that if the funds that were provided to the school district, um, as far as how it was funded in um, building that sign, um, I do agree with the school board's current decision um, that it's only used for school activities and not outside in the community. Dan Peterson. Um, I agree with the decision. <laughs> uh, you get the award for a shortest answer. <laughs> <laughs> I also agree with the decision. Alicia Ash. I stand by my decision um, because, let's say, there's future litigation that is going to get levied onto all of the taxpayers, and that is not a responsible of taxpayer resources, and I will change my mind on that. Nathan Johnson. I would approach you know, each decision with an open mind, and in this particular situation, um, we didn't, as a school board, I didn't feel that we um, involved the community enough before making the decision, and the stakeholders, and those being the uh, organizations and the uh, community groups who uh, were using the sign. And so um, we also have learned that the Greater Pioneer Endowment uh, minutes and the uh, City Council minutes reflected donations to the sign uh, in the spirit of it being a community used sign. And so therefore, I disagree with the uh, decision. Scott Mello, the question is what is your opinion in regard to the recent school board resolution? which restricted the electronic sign on school property to school events only. I believe people believe this is a major issue, and, and I don't agree with it because there should have been community involvement before the board made the decision. It was rushed. My comments. Running for school board, I've been hearing all kinds of different things, and this is this has become a, 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 it seems like a major issue. Um, if it's going to be a community sign, then it, let's move it to a community property. If it's going to be a school sign, let's leave it on the school property. Steve Odegar. Ditto. <laughs> Sorry, Dan, he gets the award. <laughs> 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 Andy Adams. In my last comment, I mentioned the importance of educational and community organizations being involved in discussion before decisions are made. I think that's imperative. I think the citizens have a right to know what the issues are, how this happened, and um, currently, with what I know about it, I am against the board's decision. And I am very happy to see that there is going to be a work day to discuss it and get the information out. Mark LeBrun. I agree with the decision of the board. Uh, there's certainly a lot of great activities and, and events out there in our community. Uh, but honestly, from a practical point of view, I think there's much better ways to advertise. Uh, the best advertisement I've seen is the big banner that gets on across Main Street. So. I think uh, maybe we need to pitch in some money for some more banners, and, and I think that would be a better approach to it. Thank you. 
Matt Cronio is down to Kerry Slater.